Once you've started up the HECRAS program, the first thing you might want to do is to go to the Options window, go to your Program Setup, and set your default project folder. For us today, this is going to be on Drive C, 12D Jobs, Version 8, Courses, and down to the Rivers folder. Now this is our working folder, and this is where 12D put all the files containing to the HECRAS project. Select OK. Now when we go to Select Open, the first thing that we can do is say Default Project Folder, and we can find the Geelong project that we created inside 12D. Now you'll notice first of all that the plan files, the geometry files, and the flow files were all created by 12D. So first of all, let's take a look at the plan view. You can see that the center line of our river was called Geelong, and that's where it got the name from. It's got the arrow pointing in the right direction, and it has our cross sections named by their chainage along the reach. Our first section was section 27, and therefore this reach itself is called Geelong Reach 27. The other thing you'll notice here is that if I make this a little bit larger, we can see the left and right bank markers, and we can see where a levee's been marked on the left bank, I'm sorry, on the left side, and then over here you can see when it's at the end of the section that it hasn't been marked. Now to take a look at more of the data that's come in here, let's select cross sections, and you can see the coordinate data that's come in. You can see your left bank reach, distance, your center distance, and your right distance. Now the reason that these distances are different is because our river is of course meandering as we move down. You can see in the cross sections, we've got our once again our left and our right bank markers. The end values that we have sent from 12D are found here with our left bank, center, and right bank markers. If we next move across to our steady state flow conditions, you can see that the discharge that we entered into the 12D dialog is recorded here. If we go to our reach boundary conditions, you can see that one tailwater condition has been put in with a normal depth slope of 0 .001. Now this is not measured in any way from the tin or anything else, it's the default value, except it's your responsibility to make sure that you put the correct tailwater conditions into HECRAS. So we'll select OK and select Close for that. Now the first thing we need to do is just to go run this project. So we're going to do a steady state run. So click Steady Flow and it's definitely going to be a subcritical run. We're not going to do the mixed supercritical now and select Compute. You notice it calculates the data for us. It's very quick. And now if we close that down and go back to our plan, sorry, our section views, you can see we now have water levels been calculated for our 10 QMEC discharge. Our final step is to export this back to 12D so that we can do our presentations. To do this, we'll move up to the file menu and we'll come back to down to export GIS data. Now the important thing that we want to export, and we definitely have to make sure we have this tick box on for export water surfaces. If you had more than one profile or more than one discharge run, we only process one at a time, so make sure that when you go to select your profiles, you only select one. Once you've got all that done, go down here and select, select Export Data, and it creates this Geelong RAS Export.SDF file. And this is the results file that we're going to look for when we're back inside 12D.